All right, boys. Time to talk to Igwe. Doctor Yu. Morgan. I was afraid you wouldn't make it. He looks all pissed off. The subject, Dahl, has been secured. I believe I've isolated the correct neuromod. It is essential we say as little as possible of what has happened on the station and focus on the situation. Dahl, memory serves, should resort to field training and react accordingly. He was never one to question orders. Ready when you are, Morgan. Remember, if this works, say nothing. Activate your model removal process. Okay. Uh, so you will extract a designated neuromod from the subject, uh, returning the subject's memory to a period before they extracted the neuromod. When extracted, Dal's memory should revert back to the inception date, and he should forget his assignment here. Must be updated with a If you're having housing. second thoughts, performing the extraction can't set us back any more than we already are, except for time. Okay, so we gotta perform the scan. Please engage surgical harness. Oh. Dr. Yu. Morgan. Okay, perform neural scan. All right, neural scan complete. Surgical procedures. Perform your autonomy. you Morgan your father's been asking about you and Alex I was supposed to report to him about her retrieval after modding up where am I why am I restrained commander Da, I am dr. Igwe chief physician here you've I've seen your face in the company directory Alex's pet the discredited parapsychologist. Ah. Commander Dahl, you've suffered a severe head injury as a result of a crisis here on the station. We need to evacuate at once, but we... we couldn't leave without you. Are you able to pilot a shuttle? What? Yes, of course I can pilot a... Wait, what emergency? Is this Argus installation? Where's Casper? I'm afraid there's no time to explain. We need to get to the shuttle bay and prepare for departure. Transtar mandate. Doctor, you can confirm. Of course. Morgan, you look like shit. All right, let's get Daddy's precious child off the station. Transtar <laughs> will black box me. Just need to check your vitals. Wouldn't want our pilot to faint. There's nothing wrong with me. Hang on, before she starts, what did it say? Wait for Doll to what? Wait for Doll to contact you from the shuttle. Okay. We're in life support now. Lead the way, Mo. It's all clear. You'll catch Air's up. normal across the board. I lost some good people fighting the black boxes. And Dal wasn't here. If you see him before I do, make him pay. Uh-oh. Elazar out. It's by design that I can predict what you're going to do fairly often. And yet, this turn of events with Dahl, I'm impressed and surprised you've managed to find a way to get remaining crew off the station. Alright boys, we're here. Or... Maybe not. Is he outside? What the hell? Oh. I promised you my arming cape. All I ask is you hear me out first. And you can blow Talos one to pieces if that's what you think is best. I don't think you'll do it. I know. 
Because I used to think we couldn't be trusted to play with fire without burning the house down. But you convinced me. You showed me anything was possible, even if the price was steep. That part of you is still in there. We can make history, Morgan. Not those leeches on the Transtar board of directors, not Mom and Dad. You and I. Just like we planned. We got the data to confirm what you suspected. And Carl is broadcasting a neural signal. A secret message reaching to the stars. What I want to know is what is the message? And who is listening to it? I think you know. Ever since we first tested the Typhon Neuromods, you've known. This fabrication plan is for the Null Wave device prototype you can see. It will hijack the coral signal and use it to deliver a massive shock to every Typhon organism at once. Take it. And the army key, like I pro... What? Morgan! Hoi Chinga, what the fuck? What the fuck? His voice locked to shut safe room door. <laughs> so that was an optional objective was to save his ass. Oh, that's amazing. So we're gonna make the null wave transmitter. 
I'm gonna save before I I'm like right here actually I think I'm gonna save this might be the easiest so that way I can navigate um, you know kind of like a central point to navigate from I'm gonna go we're gonna use an old friend transmitter we're gonna see what happens then I'm gonna reload you do the explosion see what happens um, actually what if I do the explosion first then the null wave. No, fuck it. I'm gonna do both. I'm just gonna. I already made the null wave transmitter. Fuck it. We're gonna. We're, that's what we're gonna do. Okay. All right, boys. The heart of the coral is in psychotronics, in the original containment cylinder. Placing the null wave device there will override the entire coral network with our own signal. Use your cytoscope to locate the exact spot. Okay. Let's go, boys. Holy shit. If the idea hasn't occurred to you, I'm sure it will eventually. Don't do it. I can't predict what would happen if you scan the apex, but all my models point to suffering. There. It's over there. It's on that side. Alright, boys. This is the nest. This is it. Holy crap. Alright. Let's do this. You better do something. The reconstruction is destabilizing. What? They're lying to you. Hurry. What? What was that? I, they're scaring the hell out of me. I think they may be right. All right, boys. Morgan, Igwe, what's the update on our patient? Commander Dahl is making a speedy recovery, and we are making our way to the shuttle bay. I have informed him of the threat to the station, and... Fine, Morgan, I'll meet you in the shuttle bay. <laughs> See, I knew it. Anything interesting? I don't know why I'm looting. This is literally the end of the game. What? Morgan, you... <coughs> We are over now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, you you good? Registration for the Talos Employees Talent Show is now open. See Galen in the crew quarters front desk to reserve a slot. What? But I didn't I didn't even do anything. Did he just he just died. Wait a minute. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Kill the, I didn't kill him. I, I... What? Okay. 
I mean, I'm I'm glad I found him. Uh, that was unexpected. I was just being nosy because I wanted to come down here and see if there's anything down here because I hadn't I didn't realize that this was down here. Like we haven't been to the bridge yet. Not really. I think we came down the left once and then literally just went right back up. Well, fuck, I'm glad I came down here. What the hell? Like, what? What? Oh, look, it's even like showing me. Hey, spotlight. Hey, the dumbass. There's these over here. Okay. Well, then. Back to our uh, regularly scheduled programming. Uh, we're gonna fuck shit up. Let's go, boys. What the hell have you done? This looks I cool as fuck. On Morgan's orders. Morgan. Your operators locked me out of the con terminal. We need to link up to the null wave device if we're gonna get that signal off before it's too late. Consider the risk. Alex's plan, if it works, is only a short-term solution. None of us has the right to endanger every life on Earth. If anyone's playing God here, it's you. Your lunatic plan denies everyone a birthright to the stars. You know how neuromods are made. The demand will only increase. In the future Alex envisions, many will die for the benefit of a privileged few. I'm not arguing with a glorified desktop. Kill it, Morgan. Sorry, Morgan. I won't relinquish control of the terminal. You'll have to destroy me. Which means you will be destroying yourself. Fine. I'll do it myself. What? I'm sorry, Morgan. I didn't... What the fuck, man? Okay. We're gonna reload that. Oh, fuck. I didn't even get the chance to, re like, really react. Morgan, I was just like, what? Your operators locked me out of the con terminal. Uh, but, uh, okay, 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 okay. So, I don't have any of that, of the fucking, um, uh, disruptor. I'll have to glue cannon him. We need to link up to the null wave device if we're gonna get that signal Okay, we're gonna let them get through the dialogue. I'll Consider cut to where risk. he's like, kill me. Alex's plan, if it works. I'll do it myself. Oh, man. God damn it, January. The hell, man. <sighs> Give me that gun. The hell's wrong with you? Give me ultimatums and shit like that. All right, boys. Let's do this. What is a neuromod? Well, it's both an easy answer and a complicated one at the same time. It is the future, today. More importantly, our past, today. This is the work Transtar does, and every employee working together. It's immortality, and it is beautiful. What the fuck? It's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming. And nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It's remarkable that it never installed a single Typhon-based neuromod. In my view, this demonstrates a strong identification with us, but its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this 
at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos One. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to activate the Null Wave device. Why? To preserve the Typhon technology? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. We're gonna shake things up, like old times. I'm sorry, what? Take my hand if you do. familiar probably sound more tired than usual it's been never-ending setting up the rooms and protocols to test the new mods the risk is substantial but if we succeed copying neural networks from the Typhon onto human minds is gonna change everything so I'm putting myself in the sim I've done everything I can to make sure I don't wind up lobotomized one last safety measure let me introduce October Say hello. Hello, Dr. Yu. October will help you remember what you're supposed to do if things go sideways. Once testing starts, there's no going back. If... when they uninstall the mods and reset the test, it'll rewind me. I'll forget everything. Theoretically, they could keep me reliving the same day over and over, and I'd never know. If you're listening to this, that's probably what happened. It also means I don't know if I can trust my own brother. Alex won't like what I have to say next. I started plans for a prototype null wave strong enough to kill every Typhon on Talos 1. I hid a copy of the plan on top of the data tower by the scary chair. You know the one I'm talking about. Alex agreed to explore the idea, but I know my brother. First sign of trouble, he'd rather blow it all up and blame someone else. So you're probably on your own. There's a lot at stake here. Too late to stick our heads in the sand. You know what to do. If I remember correctly, yep, right down here. All right, boys, let's do this shit. Let's go. You better do something. The reconstruction is destabilizing. They're lying to you. Hurry. Good work. The reactor's primed and capable of delivering close to 30 megatons. More than enough. I'll meet you on the bridge for the last part. Hurry, Morgan. There won't be anything left to detonate if we're too late. 
All right, boys. I'll see you guys on the bridge. Oh. I see a person who looks like Morgan Hugh. Morgan, be cautious. Your brother is unstable. He may not permit you to activate the self-destruct. Also, he's armed. Unstable? Is that a joke, operator? You've let this machine poison you. I wish you understood. I've bet the course of this entire station around what you wanted. I let you persuade me. And now you're gonna throw it all away? Just stop and think for one goddamn second, Morgan. The safety is off on his firearm. I think you've said enough. <sighs> Morgan, everything is ready. Now that the keys are armed, the order to execute is given from Captain Mark's terminal. I'm not able to execute. That responsibility is yours. This is Captain Jada Marks. I'm setting down for posterity my deliberation over the fate of the shuttle advent. I'm unable to determine with confidence if the advent departed before being contaminated by the life forms presently overwhelming Talos 1. Best guess, based on telemetry data, advent departed approximately 30 minutes prior to the first incident report logged by security. 30 minutes. It is within that narrow gap of uncertainty I must decide whether or not to remote detonate the shuttle and its five passengers. They may very well be flying a cargo hold full of mimics to an unsuspecting Earth. They may not. Captain! We could sure as hell use that golden gun right about now! I don't... Your shift isn't for another two hours, but I need you to come in now. Is everything okay? No, it's not. Stop by my cabin first. Bring the gun from my safe. Transmitting the key code. Right away, Captain. What? Alex, this is Captain Marks. I'm calling to let you know I've authorized a full evacuation of Talos-1. I've tried to issue a mayday to Earthside operations, but our external communication systems are malfunctioning. If you're still with us, we're keeping our posts until the last pods are safely away. Mark's out. All right, boys, let's do this. Warning, reactor detonation. It's finished. All the directives you gave me have been completed. Next and final topic. Your mind is free of significant Typhon neuromods. I believe the risk you pose to Earth is minimal. However, despite my belief, I cannot act against my directives. On the other hand, if I were to suffer irreparable system damage, I would be unable to interfere with your escape. Alternatively, you could depart with your colleagues aboard Dahl's shuttle. You didn't anticipate that outcome. I just wanted you to know that. Goodbye, Morgan. The shuttle is ready to go, Morgan. I'll wait a few minutes before detonation, but then I'm gone. You're on your own after that. God damn it, Alex. Warning, reactor detonation imminent. Please evacuate Talos 1. No, I refuse to pull the trigger. It's not like he can stop it. Let's go, boys. Are you waiting for an invitation? Ready or not, starting debark operations. Pre-flight check is who gives a shit. <laughs> nice. Hang on to your seat. This will be a rough ride. Please evacuate Talos 1. I 
keep having this dream. Well, that was freaking awesome. Alrighty, boys. If there's anything after the credits, I'll show you guys. Um, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. That was a fucking awesome game. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye. Alrighty, boys. Here we go. The explosion ending. Let's see if it's exactly the same. It's finished. How did it do? Activation of the mirror neurons is promising. Empathy quotient shows to be exceptionally high. It probably thinks it was dreaming. And nothing mattered. You're assuming it thinks like us. Its life depends on it. Ours too. It all comes down to the choices it made. It saved me from the cargo container. I would have suffocated otherwise, and later, it recovered the Leitner connectomes. They were of no practical use, except that they were deeply meaningful to me. It's remarkable that it never installed a single Typhon-based neuromod. In my view, this demonstrates a strong identification with us, but its most surprising act was sparing Da. While perhaps for purely selfish reasons, this, at least in principle, enabled others to escape Talos Y. Michaela. I would have died without my medication. That wasn't easy. That says a lot, I think, about its heart. Can I say that it has a heart? Would you let it live? Yes. Sarah, you're next. The situation in the cargo bay was bad. None of us would have survived without its help. And it destroyed a large number of Typhon across the station. That has to be a good sign. Further, it thwarted Dar's attempt to use us as hostages. If it were one of my officers, I would give it a commendation. Danielle, what do you say? It found me. It didn't need to, but it did. I asked it to stop Volunteer 37. That was dangerous. No way to be sure, but I think it has a sense of retribution. A lot of humans controlled by the Typhon ended up dead. Not that it was easy to avoid, but... I think it's worth the risk. In the end, it chose to destroy Talos One. Why? To protect Earth? We can't really know what its motives were for anything it did. But we have to make a choice. You can hear us, can't you? Here. I want to show you something. What you experienced was a reconstruction based on Morgan's memories. This is the world today. Well, shit. We spent years trying to put what you can do into us. We never tried putting what we can do into you. Until now. You're the bridge between our species. I need to know if you see us. I mean, really see us. Take my hand if you do. All right, we're in. Well, we basically already know what, what this is, so. We're gonna shake things up, like old times. So basically, it's the same ending, regardless if I do the null wave or if I do the explosion. Interesting. All right, boys. Peace. Bye.